who am I? I'm a Vietnam era veteran. I first served in the US Army. Later in what I can only describe as a moment of temporary insanity, I re-enlisted in the US Marine Corps. This required me to go through MCRD Paris Island. Long story short, 11 weeks later, I emerged as a newly minted Marine. The rest, as we say, is history. I have 35 years of experience as a government contractor supporting first the United States Air Force, followed by 30 years of supporting the United States Navy. I served in the following roles, software engineer, database administrator, and network administrator. The last 10 years of my career I spent as the software configuration manager or SCM for the US Navy LCAC, which is a hovercraft. LCAC stands for Landing Craft Air Cushioned. I have three certifications from the Configuration Management Training Foundation, or CMTF. First certification is the Level 1 certification titled Advanced Configuration Management. The second certification is the Level 2 certification titled Software Configuration Management. And the third is Level 3 certification titled Enterprise CM Implementation. I also have several certifications from Configuration Management Process Improvement Center or CMPIC. They are affiliated with the University of Houston. The first of which is the Master Certification in Advanced Enterprise Configuration Management. I also have SAE EIA 649-B CM Standard Certification. I also have SAE EIA 649-1 DOD Requirements Certification. I also have the Security Focus CM for Information Systems, which deals with how to apply security requirements to a government information system and last but not least I have the CM assessor certification which enables me to go into any organization and do an assessment for them of their CM practices and procedures and let them know what they're doing right what they're doing wrong and how they can improve A configuration is a relative arrangement of interconnected parts forming a system or piece of equipment. Everything in the universe is a configuration, including you and I. What is configuration management? Configuration management is a process by which we control changes to a specific configuration item. A typical system will have one or more configuration items identified within it, each of which is placed under configuration management. Configuration management has five core functions. They are configuration management planning and management, configuration item identification, configuration change management, configuration status accounting, and configuration verification and audit. Configuration Management Planning and Management The CM planning function involves documenting the CM process to be followed in managing change in a configuration. The typical output of the planning function will be a Configuration Management Plan or CMP. And this plan will be reviewed and updated no less than annually by the Configuration Manager. Configuration Item Identification Each individual configuration item, or CI, identified within a system will be baselined and placed under configuration management, where it will be subject to change control by the configuration manager as described in the CM plan. Configuration Change Control once a CI is under configuration management, any and all changes must follow the process spelled out in the CM plan. The change procedure begins with a change request or CR being submitted by one of the stakeholders. The CR is used to document the desired change and the reason or justification for it. Configuration status accounting is the process by which various statistics are tracked and reports produced for management relative to changes requested, changes completed, and any nonconformances that exist and how they are being handled. Configuration Verification and Audit CM is responsible for two configuration audit types, the Functional Configuration Audit and the Physical Configuration Audit. 
Both are performed prior to release of the system. The functional configuration audit. When the first production system is ready, a functional configuration audit is performed to ensure the system actually functions as intended. Test results are then compared to the requirements and any non-conformance is marked for action. This is typically followed by the physical configuration audit to establish the system product baseline. The physical configuration audit is used to establish systems product baseline which is used for sustainment and controlling future changes. For equipment, this involves cross-checking the drawings and or documentation against the related equipment to ensure that the drawings and documents accurately reflect the equipment in question. This video presentation is not intended to be a replacement for classroom instruction in the various aspects of configuration management. Each certification that I had to take over the years consisted of a minimum of 16 hours and most of them were 24 to uh, 32 hours of classroom instruction followed by a comprehensive exam to receive the certification. So I highly recommend that if you are interested in configuration management that uh, perhaps I've just whetted your appetite for it, but uh, you should sign up for certification courses from either of the two certification organizations that I mentioned, the first of which was Configuration Management Training Foundation, and the second which is called the Configuration Management Process Improvement Center. Both of these are excellent certifying organizations. The training is excellent and the instructors are subject matter experts for both of these. So go out there and get some additional training.